Good afternoon, dudes and dudettes. How you guys doing, everybody? Um, I just wanted to say Happy Labor Day weekend and Happy Labor Day. Most of us are going to be enjoying the labor that we're going to be putting out. <laughs> but I just wanted to say what's up and uh, show you a little new toy that I bought. I don't know if I should have bought it or not, but oh shit. I sure as hell did at this time. Uh, I figured uh, if I'm going to get into doing some good contracts and get things done, might as well do them right. So, <clears throat> you know, it, you know that we had got this and that one recently. And then uh, I decided, and I wasn't sure if I should get it or not. It was kind of like, uh, and the payments on it are, uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> ouch, ouch. But anyways, the new little kitty. Look at that thing. I bought it so uh, we could put a masticating head on it <clears throat> and start doing uh, some some mastication work and stuff. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I got this one and it was a fairly decent price compared to the rest of them i didn't know these little things costed 80 90 100 thousand uh, dollars for the one that i was looking for uh, yeah this one i got at a decent price and it looks real nice it's got about five four five thousand hours or so man i can't find the sun there we go but anyways there she is look i bought it is a 289C high flow XPS two speed. Supposedly at the time it was the top of its line other than the 300, but uh, there we go. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Now you can see my bolt spot. You see that right there? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways there you go another piece of equipment on the lot hopefully we'll get it up and running here pretty quick the inside is freaking great although much more different from the bobcats I, I used to run nothing but bobcat and bobcat is awesome this is my first skid steer cat that I've owned we used to run bobcats that's all we used to run bobcats and uh, I couldn't, they wanted 95000 for the Bobcat and then another 35000 for, or 30000 for the head. So we decided uh, for right now, uh, just to get that and see what it, how it runs. It's a nice little machine. Uh, the only thing I'm not used to is the controls. The controls are a little bit awkward for me right now because, like I said, I'm used to the Bobcat. Bobcat used to use move both hands left back and forth and we got a little bugger over here trying to hide but <laughs> let's see if she where's she there she gonna pop out one way there. did you see that little rat oh my goodness there's a little mouse in there there she is <laughs> she's hiding from me she's waiting for me to go fishing we're going fishing yeah right now <laughs> i found you look there she is there you are but yeah, so if anybody has any experience on uh, the cat here. skitters, skid steers that uh, run it's mulching heads, hold on, hold on, what? It's a cat machine. It's a caterpillar, huh? No, it's not. She's just going crazy. But anyways, uh, <laughs> if anybody has any comments or has ran a skid steer cat with mulching head i'd like to hear how things work i i mean i i don't even know how it works yet we're gonna figure it out i mean that's the way you do business i guess eventually just buy it and well we already got one job for it so that's the first you know five payments or so hopefully but uh Wait. It'll pass us through the winter. That's Wait. that's a good thing. But then we've got some other contracts coming up that do a bunch of mulching and stuff. So um, yeah, 
that's that's what we're doing now today. Dad. Well, doing now, and it was on the contract so stuff. So getting a new one ready, getting it. That is it 90, 60, 80. 90, 60, 80, what? Well, this thing is nice. It's got air conditioning. It's got an enclosed cab. The only thing it yep. sucks, it ain't got a radio, man. Oh, excuse the language. Oh, but, um, yeah. But we've got forks that, and, and what was pretty cool is our forks from the Bobcat, because it came with a bucket. Our forks from, forks from the Bobcat, the buckets from the Bobcat, everything fit directly onto that. So that's nice. Uh, attachments that I know of won't fit. Um, they won't fit. Like if you're doing a masticating head, won't fit from a bobcat to a caterpillar unless you change or put in an adapter of some sort. So we decided to rent the the masticating head for now. Um, they are expensive. They are uh, the maintenance on them is just. But, uh, the the rest of it is it. I mean, it, they t they tell me these things are awesome, man. When they when they get moving, it's fast. It's got two speeds, man. It's got actually it's got three. It has uh, a snail mode, first gear and second gear, dude. Second gear is freaking freaking fast. I mean, vroom. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's what's going on with us today. Uh, I haven't been putting out too much videos lately. I've been really, really busy. I haven't had time, but uh, I'm gonna try to do better. I promise, guys. I'm gonna try to do a little bit better. I mean, we've been so, sl so slammed. I mean, the wood, the wood stuff is coming in beyond. The, all the other stuff is coming on. So, well, I gotta get out of here because we're going fishing. So you guys have a good Labor Day weekend. Oh yeah, one more thing guys, uh, I got a little bit of video when we picked up, the, picked this one up, so uh, I'll go ahead and put it in after this, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it, it was, I had to transfer, I, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 oh I wanted to do it, we went on that little Chevy, and we had it on a trailer, Chevy didn't pull it! We should have went on the Ford. Just kidding. <laughs> we should have went on the 550 because it's heavy. Very, very heavy. The trailer even, I don't think the trailer could even hold the weight of that machine right there. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. So that's what we ended up doing was we drove it about, I'm not lying to you, we drove it about 40 miles. Uh, if you guys are anybody familiar like with New Mexico, we drove it from Albuquerque to Santa Fe, and I said, "That's it, man." I mean, the 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 trailer just didn't couldn't handle it. The tires were toasty hot and all kinds of stuff. So we ended up uh, having my dad. Um, he ended up taking the the big truck up to Santa Fe. We dropped the box, put it put it inside, brought it home, no problem. And that was probably the safest way we could have did it. Um, <clears throat> But uh, like I said, guys, I hope you guys have a good Labor Day weekend, Labor Day Monday. Um, for most of you, I know a lot of people are going to be working for Labor Day. Good for you, brothers, sisters. And uh, I just want to say also, yeah, I forgot. It must have been a lie. <laughs> but anyways, happy Labor Day weekend. Labor days, like I say, and God bless. Take it easy, guys.